So I want to talk to you about making music every day. So the first thing will be to actually have a commitment to actually write one piece of music every day. I have stressed this before in the past and it's something that has helped me a lot. So if you're submitted to libraries and you get rejections, the best thing to do is to, you know, just dust off, get up and uh, try again, you know. Or there's another strategy. Some, some tracks will not work with a certain library, so you will have to submit to other libraries. But the bottom line is that when you make a, a new track every day, you build stamina. Uh, that's number one. Number two is that you will get better, for sure, you know. Uh, I know I did, and I'm still getting better. That's why I, like, I keep uh, focusing on making new music every single day. You know, and I try to polish my skills both on production levels and on uh, composition levels. And, uh, and, and the, the better you get, the more confident uh, you will feel. And uh, when you get a rejection, it won't hurt as much and you won't get a hit to your confidence. But rejection is part of this business. And uh, the best way to deal with that is to just, you know, just swallow that, you know, with a pinch of salt and then just submit to other libraries, non exclusive. And, uh, and, and just go for a new track again, you know, and just keep doing that day in and day out. When you build that discipline, you will feel not only more confident, but you will have uh, that discipline of uh, making music every day. So whatever's happening in your life, you will get used to the idea of making music every day. And that will become part of your routine. That will become part of your life. So whenever you, there are setbacks in your, in your life, like anything could be, you know, it could be, uh, some personal issues or, or, or loss or whatever that is, you always have music, making music as part of your routine, as part of your day life, you know? So, and, and treat it like that, treat it with, a, with a respect. All you need is a couple of hours, okay? Uh, yes, from start to finish, you might need like between anything between four to five hours or six hours, but to just make a song from start to finish, you can just make that uh, in a couple of hours, at least the, 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 the structure of it, okay? And uh, have limitations as well, just put a timer. I need two hours to compose from, from start to finish. And that includes obviously the actual the chord structure, the drums and uh, the melodies. We don't need anything else really. It, the, the, there has to be something very, very simple. If you're gonna start making layers and layers and layers of instrument, that's all fine, but eventually you're gonna have to commit and bounce that to a uh, to a, to a single track, you know, and by that I mean that if you have drums and you have the kick drum, the snare, the hi-hat, and you have some cymbals and then you have some shakers, so on and so forth, you know, it's, it's much harder to mix that with all the other instruments, you know, and then you, you find yourself with like 30, 30 tracks or 40 tracks to mix at the end of the session. So if you have your drums, try to commit, you know, and say, I commit to these drums and these levels of the snare within the, with the hi-hats and, and, and the kick drum and bounce that to a stereo file. And that's, those are your drums now. Instead of having eight tracks of drums, now you only have two. And commit to the amount of instruments that you're going to be recording as well. So it's just guitars uh, or maybe two guitars, piano and some uh, violins or some strings. And maybe some, some, some synth, synth path or something in the background. And, and that's that don't you know because we can spend ages just looking for 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 presets or sounds or maybe I should do this I think the best thing to do when composing music on a daily basis is to commit it's about commitment not only to make the track every day but the, to, the commitment to to how much time are you gonna spend uh, when we are under pressure is when we perform the best that's my belief at least it has helped me a lot and, uh, and, and just say this track is going to be inspirational or it's going to be a pop track and it's only going to have electric guitars and uh, no piano, you know, and you commit to that, you know, and just write just with guitars and uh, or the other way around or you just say, you know, it's just going to have this instrument and that instrument and that's that, you know, so you don't spend endless hours looking for different instruments and try to make it better because otherwise we will never finish that song. We will never finish the music. You will never have the time to, to make uh, new music. You will never ever find the time or the right moment to, to make music. Okay? It doesn't happen. Whatever is happening in your life, you do a song a day. Uh, you might not finish that song that same day in terms of like I'm going to upload it the same day, but at least put that as a challenge. At the moment, what I'm at is I make a song, I do other things and uh, related to my work, 
but I upload the next day. I have mentioned that before. So I just focus on composition and I do as much as possible with that song. And by that I mean that when I close the actual uh, session, it's already pretty mixed. So the next day when I listen to it, I might just bring down 2 dB the guitars or, or the piano a little bit up, but that's it, you know? And from that point on, I just uh, bounce to disc and then upload that day, so I don't have to worry too much about it, you know? And, uh, and then I start right away, as soon as I upload that song and it's gone, it's, it's on its way for review, I'm already starting a new one. Like now, I just finished a song and I have a new session already, ready to go. You know, and I usually start with uh, some piano uh, chord progressions and it's just like done, the next, right away, just move. You know, the momentum has to be kept there. So when we face challenges in our lives, and uh, whatever is happening, we know that we can always go back to that zone, to that uh, place where we write music, you know? And uh, we can conquer failure and rejection only by keep moving forward, you know? So mistakes are gonna be made along the way, so uh, we just better make them sooner rather than later, you know? Especially when you have to pay the bills. So anyways, man, I hope this video find you well. Uh, let's keep shit real and uh, don't forget to subscribe. All right, rock and roll, man.